It's generally agreed that this was the year in which the reality TV bubble finally burst. For example, the very last episode of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here had only 400 viewers. And yet, in years to come, the date that will be remembered is the 26th of November, 2004. For on that day, something happened that will change television forever. And it all happened in this big blue carton behind me. On that date, seven celebrities were invited to take part in a new reality project called The Room Show, in which top personalities are locked in a room for 10 hours doing very little. What no one asked was, would it be filmed? It wasn't. I suppose we can only guess at what it must have been like in here, uh, because as I said, we, we didn't film it. Uh, while they were locked up in here, we went off to edit that Beckham thing that you saw earlier. For an hour, Eddie the Eagle Edwards and Ian McCaskill made Christmas cards from Polaroids of each other. Here we see the remnants of an hour David Van Day from Dollar and Tessa Sanderson spent blowing up 140 balloons. And here's bits of a chopped up map of Surrey, which Linda Lasardi and Paul Daniel's son Martin spent an hour putting together. Oh, uh, page three girl Zoe Anderson, I, I didn't mention her. At some point during the day, two local fellas came to kick a ball against the side of the tank. And then a breakthrough. Some of the celebrities had used camcorders inside the room to film each other. Oh, We're just working out how to, work, you have to use the camera so we can film it. With this footage, a member of the public verified the event had taken place. Ian McGaskill, Tessa Sanderson, Eddie the Eagle again, and I don't know who the other two are. Unfortunately, the tapes they used were then recorded over by us for a The Streets parody that's coming up later. There now exists no visual record of the day. All life is transitory. We cannot stop the clock, hold back the hour, cease the passing of the moment. Unless, of course, we film it, which, in this case, we didn't. In the end, the seven celebrities have said more to us about the existential nature of reality than any filmed entertainment ever could. And for that, we must all thank them.